initiate uh, deception in the minds of somebody that's not in the know, meaning they don't know Jesus, they don't, meaning they don't know this, what's going on in the situation, in the circumstance, and they don't know Father. So if you don't know Father, you don't have no wisdom because Father is wisdom, okay? Wisdom comes from Father. Ignorance is of the devil, you know, and it is, it is not Father's will that anybody should perish. But anyway, you guys, um, one thing you can expect is that um, if you think you're having hard times now, facing hard times now and discrimination now, even as it pertains to uh, criminal, so-called criminal background checks, and if, they, if these people have a record on you or whatever, or recording the events of your life, or maybe things you've done that are against the so-called laws of this matrix, or the laws of this so-called matrix, the laws of the matrix, I'm sorry, y'all, uh, then you know what, you're going to be in for it because... Um, my, my thing is this, and I know I'm, I'm kind of rushing you guys, I'm looking around, but, um, my thing is this, um, if you don't accept the mark of the beast, you're not going to be able to buy or sell anything, food and nothing. Okay, n let me tell you, um, a lot of people, you think you're going to get around that, the buy and sell thing, but you're not. Because you're like, well, how can they prevent me from selling things? Well, if they go to a cashless society, how are you going to sell anything? If money... Paper money is not being utilized anymore. See, that's the point of the mark. You understand? It's kind of like going in a store and saying you want to pay for your groceries. And let's just say you've got $1,000 cash money. And they say we only accept debit and credit card payments. What are you going to do? Even though you have that amount of, I guess I could use the term wealth, which, you know, when I think of wealth, I think of bigger money than 1000 But I'll just say that amount of currency, you're not going to be able to utilize it. It's going to be useless. So, I mean, you can run around with five, ten, twenty hundred dollar bills. You could have a, a thousand of them. You could have two million of them. It will be worthless money during the Great Tribulation period because um, if you don't have the mark, you can't make a purchase. You understand? Um, it's kind of like how they moved to the, well, you know, we all, um, most of us know the debit card with the little chip in it. What if you get to a machine and your card doesn't have a chip and, you know, that little strip in the back? that you can swipe and make a purchase and let's just say they have a debit machine and their debit machine only accepts um, cards that have the chip. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back you guys hang on. But um you're not gonna be able to make a purchase and a lot of people you think some people out there may actually think they're gonna beat the system and get around it. But a lot of people are having a hard enough time getting around beating the system as it pertains to criminal background checks. See, whoever is a part of the structure of this world, they think that they call the shots as it pertains to your life, to your lives. And if it were not for divine intervention, a lot of people down here wouldn't have anything. So Jesus is on the scene. And he's on the scene right now, you know, uh, trying to convey a message uh, through me, I feel, to uh, let you guys know what's coming, what the up and coming events. And what you can look forward to if you don't know him. So it's very important for uh, those of you out there that are non-believers to go in and establish your relationship with Jesus Christ. Because um, uh, as, as it pertains to the Antichrist, trouble is coming. And I'm not speaking that for anything to happen. I'm speaking that because that's biblical prophecy. That Antichrist, he's trouble. He's trouble. That B system is trouble. Criminal background checks, that's trouble. That's discrimination. And you know, the thing about it is people feel like, well, if they could throw a legal stamp on something and try to call it legal and legalize it, that makes it okay. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because um, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. You know, it's stupid to deny a man uh, the labor of his hands to be able to make money to provide for his family or a woman to be able to make money to provide for her family. But there are people that play into the criminal background uh, check stuff, the, the little... Uh, blockage system that they have set up so if people are playing into that and find that to be intelligent what do you think they're going to do when the mark of the when this mark of the beast thing gets uh established when that's initiated they're going to play into that too they're going to say oh well that makes a whole lot of sense when it's ignorant you know so i feel like um uh, father you know Maybe he, I'm sure he wants me to convey to you all what you can look forward to if you reject Jesus. Because for a lot of people like that, you think you're a hustler now. Oh, my God. Imagine being out here in these bushes out here among these trees. 
and having to live out there because you can't pay your mortgage because well they don't accept your form of currency or you can't pay your car note so uh you know because um they don't accept your form of currency you can't buy food and a lot of people may say well i'm just going to start a garden with what it takes seeds to plant a garden but if you can't go to the store and buy seeds what are you going to do you're going to be out in stuff like this hiding from soldiers most likely they're trying to kill you i'm telling you it's going to be hell